I have a search form, so I want to use it. And in this video, I'll add a basic search through posts, titles and bodies. So in the posts list, I want to change the quantity of posts on a page to four. So for paginator variable. Okay. And uh, uh, when a user inputs something in the search form and clicks the button, he performs a GET request to read some data. Parameters of GET requests are stored in the request object in the GET in the dictionary. And we can get the needed data value with something like this. Okay, what key we can read is up to us. We can set to the input field of the form the name attribute and its value becomes a key in the get dictionary. So I'm opening the base HTML template and the search form is here. And for the input tag, I want to add the name attribute and the name will be search. And the value of the name attribute becomes a key for the get dictionary of the request object. Also, I need the action attribute for the form. So just add it here. And the action attribute is a link to a function that will handle the date of the form. So I want to use posts a list URL for that. Post list URL. It's a posts list view function. Okay. So in the posts list, I'm getting the value of the search key and the default value will be empty string. Okay, I've got a user's search request and now I have to filter all posts with this search query. So I just check if search query, then the posts variable will be post objects I'm calling the fil filter method and the lookup will be title two underscores I contains I contains means case and sensitive search the search query as the value for that parameter okay and otherwise post variable will be just all posts and let's test it let's it will be slug and i've got one post with the slug word in the title okay it works and uh, as i wanted to have a search by titles or bodies of posts i can pass into the filter method additional arguments so I am adding the second argument, the second lookup body I contains. Let's test it again. And if I'm input slug again, we can see that there is no results. That is because the filter method performs its search by both arguments. Thus, it will search for posts if the search query will be in the title of a post and in its body. That is why we have no results here. Okay, how we can fix it? And uh, to fix this behavior, we can use the Q class. And let's import it. From Django 
db models module import q class and uh, with the q class my search criteria for the filter method will be The first argument of the filter method will be an instance of the Q class and I am passing into the Q class constructor the lookup title I contains. And the second argument will be also the Q class object with the body lookup. And I can combine these Q objects using the pipe symbol that means or. Or I can use the ampersand sign that means and I want to use or so let's test it again and now I've got one result where the slug word is in the title let's create a new post with the new word in its body And I've got three results where the new word in the titles and one post with the new word in its body. It works and that's all the basics of Django. If you like my videos, please thumb up and subscribe to my channel.